To summarize, this week we looked at another form of modeling called the UML representation. The activities in Verisim would have helped you to develop an integrated understanding of different UML diagrams. We also saw that there are functional and non-functional requirements and we saw examples of quality attributes such as reliability and robustness. It is always good to explicitly note down these quality attributes and design decisions based upon them since they are often implicit and not usually represented in the diagrams.